slay me. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the 10 ways Spiral is different from Saw. The three train is arriving in two minutes. It is up to you to decide if this will be your final stop. This is gonna go sideways fast. I'm a nice man like Spiral. For this list, we're looking at how the ninth film in the Saw franchise distinguishes itself from its predecessors. Although we'll be discussing a few plot details, we won't go into any major spoilers from Spiral. However, we may touch upon a few twists from the other Saw movies. How do you think Spiral stacks up against the other Saw movies? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. No John Kramer Jigsaw? Wait, I thought the Jigsaw killer was dead. John Kramer, or Jigsaw as he's more infamously known, has been a primary puzzle piece since the first Saw movie. Game over. Even after Kramer's death at the conclusion of Saw 3, the character continued to appear in flashbacks throughout all subsequent sequels. Spiral is the first film in the franchise that doesn't star actor Tobin Bell. Jigsaw is mentioned several times, and a photo of Kramer does pop up, but Bell didn't shoot any scenes for Spiral. Although this is the ninth installment, director Darren Lynn Bowsman says that, quote, it's not Saw 9 because there will never be another Tobin Bell. Thus, the filmmakers decided to create a new antagonist who takes a few pages from Jigsaw's book, but plays by different rules. Whoever did this has another motive, something personal. Number 9. Detective Zeke Banks Banks. Yep. The cops in the Saw movies are not exactly known for doing their jobs well. Eric Matthews faked evidence, resulting in innocent people being put behind bars. Mark Hoffman carries on Jigsaw's work, emerging as a secondary antagonist. Even Daniel Rigg, who is one of the more sympathetic law enforcers, makes some boneheaded decisions that amount to his end. The rules were clear. Zeke Banks, played by Chris Rock, is one of the franchise's few central cop characters who's easy to root for from start to finish. He's competent, charismatic, and willing to do the right thing even if it means going against a fellow officer. Twelve years ago, I turn in a dirty cop, I get a medal for it. Big f***ing deal. I also got a bullet and I got to look over my back for the rest of my career. Rock's performance also helps to bring a fresh energy to Spiral creating a protagonist who stands out from all others in this series. Number 8. The New Style You can tell that the other Saw films take place in the same universe based on their cinematography. They all have a dirty aesthetic, with many scenes draped in grainy blue and green tones. Spiral takes on a different style while still creating an intense atmosphere. Shut up! It's too f***ing hot here for me to listen to this bullshit. Captain Angie Garza mentions early in the film that the city is enduring a heat wave. This is emphasized through Jordan Oram's cinematography, which has much brighter, at times scorching hues. We feel the pressure bearing down on these characters, almost as if an interrogation lamp is constantly on them. Jigsaw copycat. That could be difficult. Even the scenes that take place in darkness use much more vibrant colors than we usually see in this franchise, letting the audience know they're in for something different. Number 7. The Book of Seven All right. I'm confused. It means that this is beginning. When the original Saw premiered, several critics noticed a few loose connections to David Fincher's Seven. While writer Lee Whannell did credit Fincher as an inspiration, he added, quote, James Wan and I never really felt Seven was that close to our film. With Spiral, however, the filmmakers had Seven in mind from the conceptual stage. Darren Lynn Bowsman even stated in an interview, quote, We wanted it to feel much more like Seven, but it has so many ties to the mythos of Saw. Both films center on two detectives tracking down a serial killer, finding severed body parts in boxes along the way. Oh, what's in the box? What Spiral captures above all else is the look of a Fincher film, amounting to arguably the most cinematic Saw picture. Number 6. Balancing the Gore Gore is a requirement in any Saw film. And Spiral gives longtime fans what they paid for. Tear from your mouth the tongue that has so often been used to lie and to deceive. Take a leap of faith and you will live. Only your weight will rip away your lying tongue and save you. Live or die, make your choice. If you're not the biggest fan of on-screen bloodshed, however, you'll find that Spiral is less gratuitous than some of the franchise's previous outings. With each passing entry, the deaths in this series started to get borderline cartoony. Spiral finds a respectable middle ground between grounded and over-the-top violence. 
The gore isn't the main attraction this time either, as Spiral tells a mostly coherent mystery with a compelling protagonist at the forefront. He could be anywhere. He could be anyone. We're gonna tear this city apart. Explaining this new direction, Bowsman said in an interview that gore is, quote, no longer a gimmick. It just serves the story. This is much more about character, tension, and fear. Number 5. The Villain's Targets John Kramer tested a wide variety of people, from doctors to freelance photographers to drug addicts. The jigsaw copycat in Spiral is only interested in one group, cops, specifying the dirty ones. You have taken the witness stand many times and railroaded innocent people with your lies, putting them away in jail. Today, it is you who will be railroaded. Of course, plenty of law enforcers found themselves in Kramer's traps as well. This film's villain, though, has a much narrower focus than Kramer ever did. Whoever did this has another motive. They're targeting cops. The victims here are also generally less sympathetic than the ones in a lot of Saw movies. That's not to say they all deserve what's coming to them, but we don't feel too bad when most of them bite the dust, either. Number 4. The Villain's Motivation after surviving an attempt to take his own life, John Kramer emerges with a new worldview. Those who don't appreciate life do not deserve life. He decides to spend his remaining time on Earth inspiring others to appreciate life by putting people in life-threatening situations, most of which end badly. <laughs> yeah, Kramer's motivation never made a ton of sense, but it's not like he was ever supposed to be a sound-minded foe. The villain's motivation in Spiral is far more relatable. Police brutality remains a serious problem with no clear resolution on the horizon. Whether or not you agree with the villain's methods here, one can imagine how police misconduct could create a vigilante who takes extreme measures. As we learn more about the villain's identity, their motivation only becomes more understandable. I need everyone on this case! <laughs> Number 3. Billy Out, Pig Puppet In Hello, Amanda. You don't know me, but I know you. I want to play a game. Like John Kramer, Billy the Puppet has been a staple of the franchise since the beginning, but he's mostly absent from Spiral. Billy's presence is still felt through the red spiral seen throughout the picture. Spiral, 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 spiral. I need everyone on this case! Instead of using Billy to play around with people, though, the villain crafts a new puppet resembling a grotesque pig. This motif isn't new to the franchise, as pig masks have been worn by numerous antagonists, including the villain in Spiral. The pig puppet is new, however, sporting a police uniform, a firearm, and a hellish set of eyes. As Bowsman put it, quote, If you're trading out Jigsaw, you've got to change out the doll as well. We see a pig puppet Halloween decoration in our futures. Number 2. Laugh Till It Hurts Chris Rock has been branching out as of late with his dramatic turn in Fargo and now Spiral. Given Rock's comedy background, though, it makes sense that Spiral would incorporate more humor. How'd you get in here? You forget who the landlord is? Yeah, but that doesn't give you the right to just walk in here anytime you want. Renner's got rights. You start paying some rent, you can get some rights. We can't think of many moments from the last eight movies that were intentionally funny. Rock establishes a more comedic tone early on with a bit about the questionable way Jenny treats Forrest Gump. Why are you so good to me? You're my girl. In an interview, Rock compared it to Beverly Hills Cop, which started as a Sylvester Stallone action movie, but became an action comedy when Eddie Murphy entered the mix. At the same time, Spiral never forgets that it's part of the Saw legacy and doesn't go overboard with the comedy. It's not Scary Movie 4. Oh, 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 this is some bullshit. <laughs> Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Real World Commentary This franchise is no stranger to dirty cops, but Spiral feels like the first Saw movie to tackle police misconduct headfirst. When was the last time you saw your father? We learn early on that Zeke turned in a crooked cop and is now viewed as a rat in his department. 
It doesn't help that many of Zeke's co-workers have either been misusing their power or standing by while other officers employ needlessly excessive force. All available units, officer down. That was just a diversion to get us out of the precinct! Watching the film in 2021, it's hard not to think of recent events and the ongoing debate about police reform. Spiral notably finished filming in August 2019. Its commentary was timely then, but it's only grown more relevant. While Spiral may not be the deepest film about police corruption, it is a welcome addition to the conversation. How can I catch this guy? If there's nobody on the bus, I can bust! Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.